Today in your community focus, we are talking about a topic that continues making headlines, including today's headlines, the mental health of our young people. We are joined live at four via Zoom with the chief nursing officer at Bradley Hospital, Mary Sullivan. Mary, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, I certainly do want to start with one of today's big stories, the announcement from Hasbro Children's Hospital about that uh, real influx of patients to the emergency room. They say there are not enough beds for the children and the families seeking help for both physical problems, but also mental health concerns. Are you in the same position right now at Bradley? You know, we are part of Hasbro Hospital, so yes, we feel the impact when Hasbro has a lot of mental health patients waiting for beds at Bradley Hospital. What would you say to families right now? You know, part of the reporting and the information we heard from Hasbro is some people are waiting seven or eight hours uh, in the emergency room, potentially with mental health concerns with their children. What should a parent do uh, in that position? I think some of the stays are actually longer than that. Um, but when you come to the emergency room, you're, you definitely need help. So you're coming to a place that's going to be able to help you, although there may be a delay. So the best thing to do is be patient and wait for your turn to come up. Uh, let's talk for a moment about psychiatric nursing. I would imagine there is a bit of a unique skill set tied into that. Um, what can you share us about uh, the world you're in? Okay, so psychiatric nurses are registered nurses, meaning that they have a license in the state and they either have an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree, and they specialize in mental health assessments, crisis intervention, medication and therapy within a psychiatric setting. And they work mostly with patients who have either a mood disorder, such as depression or bipolar, anxiety, psychosis, schizophrenia, or substance abuse. Some of the skills necessary to be a psychiatric nurse are interpersonal skills, because you need to manage the care of patients and communicate with family members and other members of the team. Critical thinking skills are vital because patients require personalized care and individualized treatment. Teaching skills, so you can teach patients different coping strategies or how to take their meds. Um, communication skills are very important as is the ability to work under pressure because this is a very um, active environment it can be intense at times and being able to work under pressure with a lot of different members of the multidisciplinary team and the patients and the families is crucial. Mary, I can imagine the pressure you are under there. Um, we have about a minute left with you today. Uh, last week was Nurses Week. This is Nurses Month overall. overall. Uh, like so many industries, staffing is, is a challenge right now. Uh, tell us about some of your workforce development, uh, attracting folks to you. So we have, um, we, Lifespan does have a workforce development plan that includes medical assistants, behavioral health specialists, um, and other members of the care team. And, um, you know, our nurses especially are charged with a managing a dynamic and complex social environment. So there's on the job training as well as support groups here at the hospital. And just quickly before we let you go, we do have a photo we want to bring up on the screen as well. Hoping you can quickly tell us about, you have a, a stress awareness dog. That's right. One, we have a lot of stress management techniques for our staff here. We have Reiki massage, we have a massage chair, we have stressless rooms, and of course we have our compassion dog that comes on site and goes into an area where the staff are able to interact with the adorable dog. Sign me up for a visit with a dog anytime. Mary Sullivan, <laughs> the Chief Nursing Officer for Bradley Hospital, we appreciate your time today. Thank you. Looking ahead to tomorrow when Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza will join us live in studio for our monthly interview. That's tomorrow in our Community Focus.